Hi, I'm Chris Phil, and I'm the Senior Examiner for this new unit, Managing Corporate Reputation. Corporate reputation is about the way stakeholders perceive organisations. And this unit is really about understanding how organisations can influence and manage the way stakeholders perceive organisations. If we look at this first slide, we can see that the corporate reputation is made up of three key components. Corporate personality, corporate identity and the corporate image. And here we come to the first of a couple of fundamental issues about this particular topic. Identity and image. Identity is about the way in which organisations deliberately and in a planned way determine how they want to be perceived. Image is about the impressions, the perceptions, that stakeholders have of those identity cues. With time, these images become consolidated and we develop reputation. An organisation develops a reputation. This unit is about how we manage identity how we understand corporate personality, the actual characteristics of each and every organisation. Because these characteristics, the culture and the strategy, are the bedrock of the way in which identity cues are delivered and eventually the images that stakeholders um, form of organisations. Over the past five or six months, we all know that organisations throughout the world have been experiencing, experiencing some rather turbulent times. And banks in particular have undergone a, a transformation and the reputation that they held before the, front, uh, the, uh, the credit crunch hit us um, has put many banks' reputation on the line. Managing corporate re reputation is not about crisis. That, that's just one element. But the, the reason why we want to manage corporate reputation is because there is strong research that shows that those organisations that have a strong reputation actually outperform the market. There is a strong correlation between performance and reputation. Let me show you um, a few ads. I've, I've taken these from the uh, Saturday Times just, just two days ago, three days ago. And here we've got one for Santander. There's a double page spread. So here we have a new emerging or dominant bank that's taken over a number of UK banks and building societies. And here we have an ad, a part of corporate advertising, that is talking about or informing audiences about how strong they are, how good they are, and developing um, their image. And in the same paper, there was a double page spread ad for Shell. And Shell are undertaking a huge corporate uh, image campaign at the moment to show how they are contributing to the environment and the positive impacts that um, Shell are making to all our lives. There are examples all around us about corporate reputation and the way we manage it and the way some companies, unfortunately, are not necessarily managing it in the way that is in their best advantage. So, managing corporate re reputation is about personality, identity and image and this unit will be focused on those three components. As a tutor, you've got to deliver this particular uh, unit and many of you will not have had experience of this unit um, in your teaching career to date. That's not a problem. However, we do need to uh, provide you with resources and um, methods by which we can help you to deliver this unit effectively. However, let's just look at what we, I would like you to do uh, with respect to this unit. I don't want you to teach the whole unit. I want you to be a facilitator and I want you to facilitate the learning that candidates experience around the assignment tasks. The assessment is about assignments and you will have to do uh, two out of uh, a choice. There's a core subject and then there's, uh, you've got to choose one from three. And that should shape the learning process. 
I don't want you standing up in front of PowerPoint slides each evening uh, instructing students in particular issues associated with corporate reputation. What I would like you to do is to teach around the assignment tasks. Personality, identity and image are very much interrelated and the assignment task will focus on one element within one of those particular topics. I want you to, to help students learn through workshop format. Set them assignments, mini assignments, get them to, to take ideas back to the workplace and come back the following week with some ideas that can be discussed by the group as a whole. There has to be some formal learning, there has to be some basic concepts that they need to understand, but I can give you some learning resources and some books and uh, papers that can be used to help this particular process. One of the key learning resources that I would like you to um, familiarise yourself with is this particular book. Now, this book has been written by uh, Cees Van Riel and Charles Fombrum, and they are leading authors in this particular subject area. Now, they are academics, but their practical knowledge and experience of working as consultants in this field is probably second to none. And this book, which was written in 2007, contains much of the necessary information that you need to come to grips quite quickly with these new topics and these new issues. So please look at this book at your earliest opportunity. You will find it a huge help. There is a website, www.reputationinstitute.com. I'd like you to visit that particular site and explore it. You will find a wealth of material at that particular location. In addition, through the CIM website, there are masses of papers that you can access to do with uh, reputation itself, with corporate communications, and I'll talk about that later, um, with respect to branding, identity and personality. So lots of... Um, sources of information, lots of papers, both academic and practitioner-based, that you can, can read. And these are documented within the tutor resources that we have produced.